Hello, I am Leonardo, and I will present this paper, Performance Comparison of Terraform and CloudFi as Multi-Cloud Orchestrators. Me and my partner, Letea Araújo, are from University of Brasilia in Brazil. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Let's take a look to the schedule. Uh, I will start with a little bit introduction of the subject. And I'll talk about sky computing and cloud orchestrators. And I will explain the methodology used in this paper and uh, discuss the results. And in the end, I'll talk about a conclusion, right? So uh, studies indicate that in the next year, Multi cloud models will reach 75% of the cloud computing market. What's the meaning of that? Uh, companies that use cloud computing in their operations uh, will adopt a strategy uh, in which have more than one provider uh, in, in the pool of the providers, right? So this paradigm can be found in the literature as multi-cloud, inter-cloud, and the other terms, uh, such as sky compute. And what is sky computing? Yes. Uh, sky computing uh, can be can be seen as layers, essentially three layers, right? Uh, in the basement of these layers, we have the providers, right? Many providers, of course. And the providers uh, offers many resources to be used by the clients, right? The clients who hires many providers and can use the many resources by the providers, as it shows here, right? So in the middle, we have a layer that consolidates these this resources of the many providers. In the top, we have the applications, the clients, the clients applications, uh, accounting, billing, monitoring, scheduling, uh, any applications, right? Uh, it's, it's important to take a look in the middle layer. In this layer, uh, we need to have a software to consolidate these resources here in the, in the base layer, right? And this software uh, is called Cloud Orchestrator. And what is Cloud Orchestrator? Cloud Orchestrator is a platform on which the developer creates an infrastructure descriptor that the orchestrator follows to deploy autonomously without any user interaction, right? The key here is infrastructure descriptor. This is an artifact you can make version and reuse, right? You can reuse this artifact to interact with your infrastructure, right? many and many times. So we make a survey and we found many uh, solutions like this. Uh, some of them are academic proposed, uh, showed in this side, and the other have commercial proposed, such as Cloudify, Hitch, Apache area, cloud formation, therefore, uh, XOPER, and Alpha Cloud, and Cloud Assembly. Uh, that one highlighted uh, was most referenced and have more major life cycle in the market, right? And this is why we chose this, uh, these tools, these solutions. Uh, to make a more detailed review, right? This one. And this is the table uh, showing the, this comparison we made. 
with many aspects. And in order to make it an experiment with the solutions, uh, we established this criteria. The solution should have uh, support for the industry, the providers, and be open source, right? And uh, attended this criteria, we had only two solutions, Terraform and Cloudify. Why? Because uh, cloud formation uh, uh, support on AWS, cloud assembly support AWS, GCP, and Azure, that are the, the leaders, but uh, didn't uh, is open source. Heat uh, didn't support um, GCP and Azure. So uh, we choose um, Terraform and Cloudify to make part in our experiment, right? So let's talk about the methodology of the experiment. What we made? Uh, we used in this experiment a very common application in the market, an WordPress, WordPress application. And we, we, uh, we create an, the appli one, an application blueprint, right? This blueprint is showing here. And this blueprint is composed by three instances, right? Three instances. Here, you can see one instance uh, configured with Apache, PHP, and WordPress. And another instance configured with Apache, PHP, and WordPress. Both of them with external IP, right? Another instance here, this is an instance, configured with mysql.base. Both of these instances pointing to this database, of course. And what else? Uh, network, roads, and firewall. All of this configured by the cloud orchestrator, right? Of course, automatically. And we define this and make a blueprint for each uh, cloud provider, for each uh, cloud orchestrator, right? Be clear? So for Terraform, we make a blueprint for cloud, uh, for Google Cloud Platform using that definition. We make a blueprint for AWS and Asia. The same for Cloud Five, right? And this is the architecture of the, the, the text, the text, the test, right? Uh, from the from our local environment, we we make many provisions and the provisions and repeat it many times in order to to evaluate the, the performance of the, the cloud orchestrators, right? So here we have the, the parameters of the experiments. The virtual machines, we, the, the instance types effectively, we use in on each provider, on AWS, on GSP, and on Azure. The operational system we used to configure uh, the version of MySQL, the version of Apache, the version of PHP, the version of WordPress. Uh, the regions we, we provision each, uh, each experiment. Uh, we try to, to make near uh, on each provider. So, uh, in US East and US East GSP and East US for Asia, uh, you, uh, Europe East, Europe East and UK South for Asia and uh, SA East, South America and Brazil South. 
Can you see? A is near. And how many executions on each region? So, uh, was uh, three, as a, uh, three executions on each region and nine execution by orchestrations, by orchestrator, right? So uh, for AWS, we executed nine times uh, and on each region, three times, right? To make the average for the, the experiment. And here we have the, the file ports, huh? common ports. Now we have the results. Okay. So uh, this table, uh, we have in the first line, the, the Terraform results. The second line, the Cloud file results. Um, here we have uh, some, some uh, subjective uh, metrics. And here we have metrics collected uh, by the, the, the experiment, right? Uh, key B is blueprint file size. How, how big is the, the file uh, we, we created for each provider? And MIRB is uh, manageable resource in, in blueprint. How many resources we had to put in the blueprint uh, to make it work, right? And uh, APT is uh, every provision in time, uh, how long to take the provision time in average. And the AOT is average, average unprovisioned time, how, uh, how long uh, how long take to unprovision uh, the, the environment uh, in the average, right? Uh, here for, for each uh, provider, right? So what else? Uh, here in this table, it's important to note that uh, the color in the color in the cells indicates that when it's green is because uh, the provider, uh, the the cloud orchestrator was uh, was better than the other uh, in the, in that in, in that test, right? And when it's red, is the opposite, of course. Uh, the the um, the blue one is is not. This, this kind of, uh, of analysis is, uh, is natural, right? Is natural. Right, uh, this, is, this is natural, uh, we will not analyze, but uh, starting up size. Um, to starting up with uh, Terraform, uh, we need uh, 15 megabytes. Uh, we have to download 15 megabytes. It's the, the size of the, the Terraform file, right? For Cloud5, we have many, many options, but uh, the minimal uh, is 50 megabytes, uh, uh, pretty more, right? And about reference guide, uh, documentation. Uh, we analyzed the documentation of Terraforming and uh, the Terraform was pretty easier than, than Cloud5. Cloud5 have very difficult to, to find some information um, in, in the documentation. So, but th this, uh, this analysis is subjective, right? Uh, here is more objective. Here is about information collected uh, from the, the experiments. So, uh, I, I will not uh, point in by point, but uh, I would, I will, uh, ask you to pay attention for the coloring. Uh, if, you can, if you can pay attention, we have more cells uh, colored green on the, on the line of the Terraform than uh, on the line of the Cloud file. If you cannot see this, we can realize that the Terraform in average, in average was better than Cloud file right, in the consolidated tests. So uh, let's take a look uh, about the resources consumed uh, for a C CPU use, right? For CPU usage in average. Uh, for provisioning process on Cloud5, uh, we had more CPU, CPU usage in average 
on cloud fi then terraform right you can see here uh for the provision process on cloud fi also we had more cpu users uh, on cloud fi than on terraform right on this test cloud fi used more cpu than therefore but let's take a look to network traffic in average again uh, cloud fi uh, used more traffic network traffic uh, than therefore for the provisioning, uh, the network trafficking was the same uh, for Cloud5 and therefore. Uh, for IO, for IO activity, uh, Cloud5 on provisioning process used more uh, activity, your more IO activity than therefore. Much more, much more performed much more IO uh, than they have for. Also for uh, the provision process, as you can see here, many more. For mem memory, for memory, uh, in average, uh, the, the tests, the results was almost the same, right? Uh, for provisioning and for the provisioning, Cloud5 and Terraform was very similar on memory usage, right? Then uh, uh, for global resource usage, uh, allocation, Terraform used 35% uh, of the, the resource, right? Consolidating all, all of that resource and Cloud5 used uh 65 right percent about execution time in average uh, cloud fight takes um uh, many more time than in terraform for provisioning and uh, for the provisioning uh, also cloud fight takes more time than terraform okay uh, that's the results oh Let's conclude. Cloudfire and Terraform meets the requirements for working with leading provides, right? And, and provide mechanisms for their evaluation. That's why we choose the Cloudfire and Terraform to compose the experiment, right? But Cloudfire, not to an accomplish stacks, consuming more of the results in the environment, right? But also take longer to deliver the resource than Terraform, right? In addition, Cloud5 does not support multiple cloud services that are already widely used in the market, right? Terraform actually support more than 40 cloud providers and Cloud5 pretty less than it, right? Uh, Terraform presented a surprising degree of maturity, especially with the to error range and delta operations. Uh, great documentation and sky computers, uh, sky computer, sorry, sky computing adherence to, right? Uh, in future work, uh, it, it's worth analyzing how far the other orchestrators are from the minimal threshold uh, to start an operation on multiple providers, including the leaders, right? So that's the conclusion. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your attention here. And I hope you enjoyed the presentation and enjoyed the paper. And then and ask you if you have any question, uh, please send me a message. And I will be a pleasure to answer your message, right? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.